Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr. In the dark as... well, okay. Um, before we get started, I do want to... I want to go over a couple of things that I was able to work on between Friday and now. Uh, and one rather unexpected thing as well. Uh, I've been running the, the cobble farm, and I had just the one double chest in here. Uh, and I took a, a, a pick, uh, I put it in AFK mode and went to running and did some errands and an, an hour later the double chest was chock full, uh, stuff was burning up and it was sad. So I set it up so I got placeholders and three double chests, one coming off of each hopper, which seemed like a really good idea except for this thing third block back here um every time a clay block forms in this third block right there uh even having an efficiency five pick doesn't seem to clear it fast enough uh, so so my efficiency gets knocked down by a third uh life goes on uh, i've been cooking up a lot of stone and stuff uh including some smooth quartz I'll get to that iron and gold in a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah, and some smooth sandstone, because I need that too. We've got some interesting progress. Uh, <laughs> yay. I, the, the, the pyramid scheme goes on slowly. I've got my 16 red sandstone. I got my stack of chiseled, my stack of stairs... I'm almost to the first of two stacks of smooth sandstone. Uh, I'm going to need three stacks of slabs and eight stacks of sandstone. Uh, probably not going to be today's project, but that thing is going to have to... I'm going to have to double that. I need more sand faster than I'm getting it. Uh, I may even add a third floor. Definitely going to add a second one. Maybe a third one. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> the Taj Mahal, on the other hand, I have all the quartz I need to complete that one. I've got all eight stacks of quartz blocks. i got all three stacks of quartz slabs, my stack of stairs, my stack of chiseled, my two stacks of pillars. And I'm even gathering some extraneous smooth quartz because it really does help the build. Um, that is courtesy of a small change-up in my villagers, and the addition of a temporary roof. Don't worry, I know, that's ugly. I, I just, um, re remember, not but a few minutes ago, I mentioned that I was AFKing over here and, and getting, getting some cobble to cook up and a whole bunch of stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> in that same session, in addition to filling up the double chest and losing a bunch of you know, stuff, because that got backed up and overflowed. Apparently, a lightning storm happened and hit in just such a place that my two cartographers and the cleric, um, well, they, they, they became a bunch of witches. That was not a fun thing to learn. So I erected a temporary barrier. I got a couple of these guys bred up. Uh, I got two more stonemasons because the whole thing with the whole thing with the cartographers and the glass trade that only works if you take the time to zombify every everybody down to their cheapest possible prices. And I just I, I I'm not gonna bother with that this go round. I really should. I, I should probably work on a way to make that happen. Although, now that I got some stuff that I'm going to show on the back there, that, that would make it harder to. Uh, so, I don't know. I might go back and remodel and, and do that later. We shall see. But either way, for now, uh, the masons are a little bit better. Uh, in part because of the quartz. In parts because I get some of my glazed terracotta. And this time... I finally got a couple of guys that'll buy diorite and granite and all that good fun stuff. Uh, I think, uh, is, no, there's still nobody that buys andesite, but I use that too much to, to be mad about that. Um, so I can get plenty of terracotta. I don't mind that it's pink or blue or whatever because I, I, can, always, I can always recolor it. 
the terracotta, not the glazed terracotta. That, that I'm a little cranky about, too. Because uh, red, pink, and... Uh, well, I do... F I've used a fair amount of white and cyan, so I, I won't grumble too much about those this time. Um, <clears throat> In the meantime, I've been using that stone trade to get a lot of emeralds out of these three. I also... Uh, so, I moved the stone mason that was there, so all three of them are together. I set up a cleric over here, got him maxed back out, and uh, and everything's everything's as it was in the hall. Although my lazy DM uh, did not look out for the people. Sure, that's it. It totally wasn't me for not putting up a roof. Although, to be honest, I thought that overhung enough that I didn't have to worry about it, but apparently there, there there's this one little spot right there-ish that is close enough to these guys to cause it. <laughs> Those guys are probably safe. Uh, because that does extend far enough out that way and far enough that way that those guys are probably all safe. But you know what? I'd I, I I'd rather I'd rather just throw the whole roof up for now and then go from there. Uh, I desperately want to get to the end as well because I've been trying to figure out what to do for a roof on the underside of the island. Like like I'm, I'm gonna have this pretty thing up there. I'm gonna have the cobble walkway underneath it for maintenance and whatnot. And, and what do I do in between here and there? And, and I saw a video that. Green did, where, of course, that's empty. Um, don't tell Rast. I, I reorganized everything by color and slightly miscounted one box. Um, <clears throat> uh, what he did is he took black stained glass to do the fog effect on the inside of his cavern. So it's glass, air, glass, air layered up seven-ish times. Uh, but what he did that I would like to out-and-out out steal is he took end rods and sprinkled them randomly at different spots through different layers to give it more of a, a starry night kind of look. Which, I mean, if you watch his video, it looks amazing. Uh, it definitely looks like something I would like to do for the underside of here. So you're, it looks like you're looking up at a night sky. Um, maybe that, that, that's my current thought. Um, yeah. So a little bit of rearranging on the storage stuff and the roof. And I think that's it for the main changes that, uh, around this area. Uh, I did eventually get the other master farmer thingy so I could get my second cow. I'll get these guys breeding soon enough. I keep hoping a random mushroom will show up, but I don't think that's going to happen. And I especially don't think that's going to happen with these guys there. Although, I wouldn't mind, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, if there were to be a lightning strike to strike something, um, I mean, assuming it turns them into mushrooms. With my luck, it'll just kill them out and out. All right, let me do a quick tour of... Okay, this is going to be ready to harvest. I've been really happy with the melon farm. I don't know why, but it seems like the melon side, despite having the same number of plants, is producing more than the pumpkin side. And, and I'm not even talking about just like, you know, well, of course, the melons break down into three to nine slices. Uh, of course, it's going to fill up faster because you're getting... No, I mean, even if you take all the slices and craft them back up into melons, um, it really feels like the melon side is outproducing the pumpkin side. I still need to come back through, and I want to add. I want to extend this out by two more dirt, to add one more plant on each layer, and then do another couple of layers up beyond that. Because uh, I'm going to need a lot of dirt to finish up the top part of the island, and uh, so you know, yay! I just came back and 
picked up four dirt. Uh, that's going to need a lot, a lot more than four dirt, especially with some of what I want to do there. And I, oh, I do want to show you that too, but first, let me check in on this side. Uh, I haven't done anything in the nether except for trading. Yeah, there we go. Uh, is this going to wipe out my entire sugar harvest? Okay, no, good. Uh, and there we go. Yeah, there's almost always about eight or so sand, which seems great until you realize that it comes down to two sandstone. Um, that feels less great. Uh, I do want to get a better production of sugar cane for the same reason, so I can get more dirt faster. Uh, I might take a few crops and... No, never mind. I got plenty of paper. Um, yeah. All right, if I were me, I would have moved the dirt there. And, nope, that's the time. All right, let me go uh, toss these in here to uh, smelt up to some smooth sandstone. And, yeah, I'll deal with the rest of that later. That, that That's not a right now problem. That's a later problem. Um, let's go ahead and run up to the top, because I... I'm pretty sure I did this part after I logged off uh, last, this past Friday, and I forgot to upload the replay. I will do that when I upload this replay tonight, so the bandwidth is going to really suck tonight after I get done. Apologies to the apartment complex. <laughs> Except for, huh? I said he. <laughs> yeah. So I've got this path that heads on over there. It is well lit this time because I forgot that I occasionally use that spot there for uh, ice and fishing and uh, some friends were here that I wasn't expecting. I still haven't figured out either one of those two sides, although I'm pretty sure this walkway is going to go out to a lookout that will let you look out to the main Coffee Craft Island and maybe maybe be a semicircle so you can actually see part of Arcadius' stuff over there and, you know, enjoy the view. Um, that one I have no idea because that's going off into the distance, into nowhere. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a big mansion at the end of that. This is where I spent a little bit more time off camera throwing in some cobble and some stone. And I'm actually starting to mix in some podzel and coarse dirt. Because what I think I want to do is I, I, I think I want to go from grass to, to a little dirty, muddy stuff. And then to the rock face down into the water. That, that, is, my current, that is my current thinking. Um, I'm also currently thinking that before I get too wrapped up in trying to get this cliff face working, I need to just go ahead and fill in where the water's going to be and just start setting up massive layers of glass, uh, from corner to corner. <laughs> it's okay. It's just, it's just a little bit, right? <laughs> oh, that's going to make me cry. Seven layers. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, blue for the first uh, three-ish. Yeah, just a tad bit of glass. I'm going to start with just the first two or three. No, probably yeah, probably about three-ish layers of glass, uh, of blue glass, and then do light blue and intersperse in there little pockets of cyan to kind of, I don't know. Or maybe I'll just do layers of blue, layers of cyan, layers of light blue. I haven't quite figured that part out yet. I need to, I need to set up a test for it. Uh, I did, I did grind out. Uh, where did all, oh, <laughs> I, I still haven't moved all the dye out of the chest that had just the dye. All right, I was getting ready to panic. I was like, I had two stacks and a bit of blue dye. Uh, <laughs> where did it go? Yeah, so I'll move all this off camera. Um, 
But yeah, I, I get a fair amount of cyan, light blue, and blue to play with. But I'm, I know for sure I want the light blue on top. I just haven't figured out if I need to go like layers of light blue, layers of blue, and then cyan. Or the other way around. Or maybe do a mix of those and just light blue across the top. That's that that that's the conundrum for right now, and, and I'll I'll uh, later I'll set up uh, I might set up a couple of test bits to see how it looks, yeah, especially since I need to get the foundation together for all that. I should probably also sleep. I haven't done that in a while. In game, we're out of game. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> There's nothing to add to that, sir. Hmm. I mean, you'd always drink coffee. That's that's like sleeping a cup, right? So I've been told. Although it might be something I tell myself, but you know. Now, where I want to spend the bulk of the first part of the stream, uh, I need to grab a couple of things real quick. I need to get some more uh, nether brick too. I almost... Yeah, all right. Hang on, I'll get to that in just a second. Let's, uh, there we go. Good enough. Let's make our way up the ladder. Because this has undergone a few changes, too. I'd still like to find a, a way to de-spiderfy my, uh, my mob farm. But I haven't found a way that does it that doesn't also wreak all sorts of havoc with the water flow. I started adding a second layer on here. Uh, so I have I had initially set up a, a somewhat less compact uh, tower of power there. And I was originally going to set it up so that way the top will be on when the bottom is off and vice versa. Uh, to increase the efficiency. That way there's always a platform available for mobs to spawn on, but then I realized that I wouldn't be able to do that and uh, shut everything off, uh, at least with the current configuration. So that might be a part of a future upgrade. I also uh, increased the height of the ceiling. So if you look down there, instead of two blocks and then the ceiling, I've got two blocks and then a trap door. Uh, I can't remember how much of a block a trap door is. I'm hoping it's big enough to prevent Endermen from spawning, but small enough to allow Wither Skeletons and Blazes to spawn? question mark that's 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 the thought that's the hope uh if endermen do end up spawning i may come back and replace those with half slabs which i think will make the space too short for wither skeletons but it might still make it um tall enough for for blazes because uh I, I got i'm down to like my last two blaze powder down there so I want to finish putting a putting a roof up on this, and then uh, and then going from there. What do you guys have in mind? Fishing. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to figure out why my uh, cactus farm is locked up. Oh, what do you mean by locked up? Uh, uh too much fiber. The, um, I mean, it is cactus. The... What do you call it? Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not... Okay, so the uh, hopper is not pulling pieces or uh, cactus from the top. Oh. Huh. Is there, some, is there any redstone in that farm at all? Nope. 
Okay. Because I was getting ready to say maybe, maybe it's uh, maybe it's something locking a hopper that shouldn't be locked, but if there's no redstone, then it's not a... Yeah, uh, that's what I was trying to figure out, because I don't have a... Uh, I don't have any redstone down here, so I'm not sure why it's doing that. All right, you've piqued my curiosity. Hang on. Well, now it's working. Now it's working? Now it's working. I went to the back, and I took out one piece from the uh, top chest, and now it's all falling down like it's supposed to. Huh. Well, isn't that bizarre? Yeah. But it's, it's working. That's the important part, right? Yeah, my, my turtles are just sitting down here having fun, and, uh, I mean, uh, wait, no. Wait, Grace what? Wasn't supposed to do that. What tur- ah, she's not here. Okay, yeah, my turtles are down there just chilling in the damp. <laughs> hey, almost two full stacks of sand. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I got a lot of sand to go before I'm on to the next part. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's enough sand to make a man cry. Still nowhere near what I need oh, for the oh, pyramid. That's why challenge. that was there. That's why that was there. Okay, nothing got washed out. Good. I'm surprised he's not putting together his... Uh... Quartz Palace? Quartz Palace right now. Yeah, I got to figure out what I want to do with that. Hey, Rast. We're not doing bad things to turtles at all. They're See? living their best life. Last time I listened to you, no, Rast isn't around. <laughs> Busted. Hopefully she'll actually log on today. I think she has plans to, but it depends on when she gets home and everything. I mean, we solved we solved the login problems and got all that squared away, <laughs> which was something. Yeah, it would be nice to have an Arcadius in here too. He can fish in any game he's in. Exactly. How's the new fishing pole working out? What if you can't beat him, join him? No, I made him a new fishing pole. Oh, in uh, New World? Yep. It's going pretty good. Especially at nighttime. Well, yeah, because there in fact that that's what I built it for. It's for nighttime bonuses. Oh, so it's not like uh, Minecraft or some of the other games where you automatically get a bonus at a particular time of day? I'll let you fill him in while I get coffee. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you have attributes uh, that give you bonuses to fishing in, but he doesn't have those particular attributes. Uh, he's doing something else. Ah. So the only bonuses that he can get are from the fishing rods themselves. And whenever you craft a fishing rod, uh, depending on what type of materials you use and whether or not you want to add some special stuff to it, well, it will give you up one to three uh, special properties to it. And okay. some, some of the properties uh, help you with daytime versus nighttime fishing. Uh, some of them help you with uh, how far you cast um, whether or not you get bonuses for fishing in fresh water, salt water. Yeah, I think there's even some bonuses for particular types of fish. Mm -hmm. So I created him a, or I crafted a um, daytime fishing pole that gave him bonuses for fishing during the daytime. And I 
think it might have had something on there for a specific type of fish and and gave him a bonus for catching bigger fish but he's more of a nighttime fisher uh he likes to fish at night i i, so, I didn't think it mattered to him nighttime no, daytime he, dinner time yeah when he when he's doing stuff he, he wants to do stuff during the daytime and then just fish at night so I went and made him a, I spent a lot of time and money in making him a pole that will help, or that gives him all the bonuses for nighttime fishing. <sighs> that was his birthday present. Ah. Um, so now he has two poles. When he's fishing during the day, he uses his daytime pole, and when he's fishing at night, he uses his nighttime pole. Oh, I figured it was a left-hand fishing pole and a right-hand fishing pole. No. So he could fish twice no. as much. Nope, I don't think that uh, they actually allow dual-wielding fishing, but if they did, you know he would be doing it. Oh, yeah. Every game. Don't get me wrong, I like the fishing too, but there's other things I'm, I've been focused on. I like fishing in Minecraft, except on Skyblock. <laughs> I like fishing... Except on Skyblock? Except on Skyblock. Is it um, is it because like... of the rates, or because you got to worry about not just falling out of the boat, but falling out of the world? No, it's because no matter where I put my place to fish at I always put it too high or too low or it's not the right uh, biome or and I just I just kind of got tired of dealing with it so this, this fishing... platform's too high this platform's too low this platform is just right no Beat I me don't to have it. a just right one So I just kind of got tired of dealing with the fishing, so I gave up on fishing. I had everything I needed to do what I needed, so I don't get any. I don't do it anymore. But anyways, I also like fishing in Stardew Valley. As a matter of fact, that's my when me and Reyes and Arcadius game together in Stardew Valley. That is what I do. I fish. Believe it or not, I take that away from from Arcadius, and he just does the mining. Okay, that I, I am definitely surprised at that one. <laughs> or the farming. I usually do mining. Yeah. Because I get bored. Okay, yeah. Hello, Beach Duck. How are you doing today? Hello, Beach Duck. Hey! And there's a rest. You didn't hear me earlier? Whose voice did you think was at my pitch? Well, no. Like, like Arcadius would all, will also join in chat. But not necessarily join in game. Gotcha. I'm there in spirit. Mm -hmm. Oh, two-factor, hold on. He, hey, hey, don't don't you? get cranky at that, especially given that. Uh, it, by the by, if anybody anybody has a YouTube account and you don't have two factor on your Google, uh, please go set up two factor on your Google account. I saw the briefing, but not the full text uh, about some sort of a security issue with. Uh, people probing Google accounts and the short, the long and the short is that a second factor authentication will prevent uh, sadness and tragedy. Yeah, briefly until they figure out how to get by second two factor authentication and then decide that, Oh no, now you need three factor authentication. And it's going to continue to do that until by the year 2050, we're going to be up to like, you know, 17 no. versions of verification plus the blood of a virgin and all this other stuff just to log in. 
No. <laughs> no. No. Pretty specific. The the proper two factor authentication, and, and I do specify proper because yes, there is improper two factor authentication. Um, sadly used by a lot of banks, but I won't. I'm not. Nope. I'm not going to go there. Not going to go there. Not going to go there. All right. I feel like you just did. <laughs> um. Proper two-factor authentication is usually some sort of time-based token. Uh, so you have 30 seconds to type in a number. And right now, the only way that can be breached is if somebody gets the root seed for the two-factor authenticator. Uh, Negative, which, sir. Huh? Negative. There is another way for them to do it. Oh, yeah. They, they can also fish you into giving it to them, too. Uh, no, there's there, an even easier way of doing it. There are... Uh, okay. You can go through the support process and get some hapless rep to unlock your account for them through social engineering. It's so adorable that you keep missing the... Okay. Where, when you do two I'm trying to figure out where you're going because when you, unless when we're you talking about two different things. No, when you go do two factor authentication, what does 99.9% .9 of the world have their their two factor go to? The the code actually where where is it at? Oh, oh, you're talking about the SMS authentication. I'm talking about an actual two factor authentication app. I'm right, not talking about the phone. SMS authentication. No, that 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 Despite is known to be problematic. Yeah, so I can get a hold of your SIM card. They don't even have to get a hold of your SIM card. Uh, well, no, no, no. I meant I meant through the. Um, they can, they can contact your cell phone company, claiming that it's you, and have your and, and they can emulate your SIM card uh, to the point where they can actually access your information from your phone or from their Yes. Phone. However, that is in the process of being changed too. There are new regulations going into effect uh, that should mitigate most of the ways other than conning a uh, representative into doing it for you, which is getting harder and harder to do as the various social engineering loopholes are found and closed. Although, we come back to, on the one hand, having a two-factor authentication app is best. Having it sent to your phone is still better than not having one at all. So, yes, SMS authentication is, has its issues, but that is not a reason to not use it. Low hanging fruit and all that. Exactly. Uh... Don't be the easiest target on the on the block. Don't call people easy. Well, I mean, if they're going to well, be easy, they're going to be easy. Yeah. fits. Okay, so where's our happy conversations for today? Um, uh, Kellogg's is being sued for $5 million by a Karen who states that no no happy ha happy, no, happy, happy 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 Reyes requests happy <laughs> they've already greenlit Dune Part Two. <laughs> all my all my grass is grown back in the sheep farm. Ooh, that is happy. I need grass and a sheep farm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you started working on the grass part of that. Uh oh wait no which, which is the which is the one that gives you the sheep because I I think I still got to do the second one of those. I thought you had your sheep already. No, I got the two cows and I got the two pigs. I only have one oh. sheep. Oh no no that's right. You didn't want to turn it in last stream because uh, of how jacked the price was. Was that the wool one? I think so. Oh then I need to get more string. Because I'm running low on string. I think. I remember those. Uh, if you mean different phases, we're at different stages of building, then yes. 
Reyes has that glorious spiral staircase and the vines that stretch literally to the void. Um, Arcadius has the exceptionally decorative... Well, it doesn't look decorative from down here, but the exceptionally <laughs> decorative island. Um, I, I have lots of farms and medic settled in a happy place in between the two of those. Because while he went to the extreme decoration with the bare minimum farms, I built lots more farms. And I'm only now getting to the decoration. Does that make hmm. sense? What was that hmm for? That was a loaded hmm. What? Who hmmed? Nobody hmmed. Who you hmmed. Did anybody hear hum? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if it's at me for being all decorative and no farm, or at you for being all farm and no decorative. Uh, it it might have been for the like, package deal that is six people and one half slotting into the their niches. <laughs> I feel judged. You are. Yeah, I, I kind of figure we are. Uh, you can't be judged if you're not in game. <laughs> I am in game right now. I'm not talking to you. I'm what? Talk I'm talking to the person who says, I feel judged. I do. That's still my project, even if I'm not there. I've I've dusted my hands. It's a finished work. No, it's no, not. It is not. Dude, have you been to that place? What what what, what is this finished of which you speak? And you could help me, but you don't want to. What are you we talked about help this. You? you can make me blocks. Uh, I'm not touching that one with the ten foot pole. Otherwise, Ray, I still feed Jubba peanut butter and lock him in my room. <laughs> that is my go-to. All right, I guess I just need to see if that works. The project... Oh, that's right. That's why I came down here, because I was going to check challenges... Uh, total times completed too. Did I finish the second sheep one? Where's my protein box? Oh, there's two sheep spawn eggs in my protein box. Okay, I do. Ha I did. I, I did have two sheep. Oh, that's right. I gotta figure out where I'm putting the sheep farm and get that cracking. Oh, did I mention the flower farm? I got the too high flower farm going. Uh, mostly so that way I, I could get the red and yellow to make the orange and uh, get the, the pink and magenta a little bit cheaper. Uh, I went uh, lower tech than I wanted to just because of the needs of the farm. Yes, I am literally counting sheep. It is not helping me sleep, however. Um... So th this is pretty much every layer is once you put some bone meal in here, it sets the clock going that runs until it's done dispensing all the bone meal. That's it. Super simple. Super cheap. Um, I had to use walls for this part because the hitbox of the flower is enough to prevent you from accessing the dispenser. Even though... There's clearly space around there. Like if Moyang is looking for quality of life improvements, being able to reach around a flower would be nice. So instead you gotta kinda aim between the wall and the edge of the flower. Uh, those are roses. Have you ever tried to reach around one of those without getting stuck? Okay, okay. What about the sunflower then? Hmm? Hmm? You ever tried to reach around one of those without getting attacked by pollen? I get attacked by pollen whenever I'm in the general vicinity of flowers. My point. Hey, you know, where we live. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but where we live, you don't have to be in the vicinity of flowers. You just have to be outdoors. Yes. You know, when, when the air itself is green for at least a month and a half out of the year. Yeah. That's Still better than Texas. And not not green by, uh, not green from pollution. <laughs> Still better than Texas. 
Mine is when you can write on the car and not because it's dirty. <laughs> Everybody worries about yellow snow. I'm I'm more afraid of the the yellow blanket during uh, spring. Yeah, that. Oh. My vine tree is giving so many vines. All right, white grass. Well, it should. Let it you grow haven't to... it in like you know two months, three <laughs> months. Actually, it's been longer than that because I think I've only been on once in the past two months. Okay, those are light gray. Those are light gray. Incidentally, work is kicking my butt. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I know that life. There's been a lot of that going around. Yesterday, I ended up getting a call right when I was supposed to be logging off. So, in that call, ended up taking almost 45 minutes to complete. Oh. Oof. And then, of course, I had the nice 15 to 20 minutes afterwards to wrap up the call, you know, doing the paperwork for it. Then I had to finish the other stuff I needed to do before I could actually log out of the system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I did more calls yesterday than I did in the first three days of last week combined. Oof. Ouch. Yeah. Well, I mean, that means you're getting faster, right? Yeah. Look at the bright side? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm, I'm getting faster, and I'm able to help a little bit better, but... Um... Stay on the sunny side of life. <laughs> Let's put it this way. I didn't eat dinner last night, because I didn't Oof. feel like cooking anything. And I was so tired, I ended up going to bed about 8 o'clock. I've had those days. Mm -hmm. Where you just, like, come in, lay down, done, get up, do it again. Yep. Wait a minute, I'm sorry, I thought we were supposed to be talking happy things. We are supposed to be talking about happy things. Uh, the live-action Cowboy Bebop is looking like it might be pretty good. Hey, wait a minute, I thought we were supposed to be talking about happy things. <laughs> you don't like Cowboy Bebop? No, no Cowboy Bebop? No? Or are you just not a, not a fan of, or are you just one of those people exceedingly worried about the uh, live-action... Disney's not involved in this live action remake. If, no, if that's no, any no, comfort. No, 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 Did somebody unfortunate come to visit your island? Yes, don't, don't sleep. Oh, 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 okay, not sleeping, not sleeping. I don't know how to unsleep. Oh, oh. I was right on the edge, plopping down stuff. Right at the edge of my island, mm -hmm. plopping down stuff. And a bunch of phantoms came out of nowhere oh. from the island side. Oh. oh. And they all mo they hit me three times. But I was able to I was able to I guess uh move myself to a point to where they didn't actually knock me over, but if they did, I would have went straight down outside of my island. Yes. Mm. So the floor of my... Oh, wait a minute. I was nowhere near the edge of my island. <laughs> that so was a faulty no. Yeah, I would have just died. I could have got all my stuff. Never mind. I'm still waiting for Reyes to expand the bottom of her island. I gotta get resources, and I'm not on enough to gather resources, and certain people won't help me. Man, did you hear that, uh... Mm -hmm. Yep. Despite the fact that I help them on their games, and I even make most of their armor for them. Really? <laughs> Look, I got plenty of cocoa beans. Ooh, I should probably make some cookies. Ooh, IRL? For no, no. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> you don't want me making cookies IRL. Why? Y- you know what me making Loose cookies tea. IRL is? Going down to Food Lion and buying a pack of cookies. So where are my cookies? <laughs> I haven't been to Food Lion. <laughs> you know what I want? What? What you really, I really want? want? I want some grilled steak with like the, all, all the all the trimmings and stuff, uh, fresh baked cookies, and an entire day of actually sitting at a table together, <laughs> physically playing D and D, oh. and eating all said goodies. When's your birthday? Well. You are welcome up here anytime, A, and B, what are trimmings? Well, you know, like for me, it would be stuff like, you know, for me, it'd be stuff like the baked potato, bacon, sour cream, all that kind of good stuff. Onions go with the steak, you know, but I know with you. It's a Southern phrase. It's why we struggle with that one. Okay. Okay. Because all I could think is, why would you want the fat part of the steak? Oh, that's the best part. <laughs> 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 hey, gross. Wooly. How you doing? It's so gross. Wooly, <laughs> how's it going? Hmm? Oh, Wooly37 Wooly is over there going the same, y'all. Like, I, I may not be on board for all the trimmings mentioned, but uh, a nice steak does sound kind of nice right about now. Uh, it also reminded me that earlier on uh, yesterday's Daily Tech News show, um, Daily Tech News show had an experiment week where they ran a bunch of different shows from the various guests and contributors uh, just to just to see if maybe somebody had an idea that could launch a new podcast or that kind of thing. And one of the shows that came out of that experiment week that is actually running and being produced is a barbecue tech show. Like the mm-hmm. whole, the whole thing is about barbecue technology, uh, cookers, methods of cooking, et cetera, et cetera. And Amos was mentioning that since he does all the post production editing for the show, he, he's been getting awfully hungry as he edits a half hour show of how to cook a rack of ribs yeah <laughs> okay who yeah. keeps throwing eggs on my island hmm? it's not me I'm over here plopping stuff down on my island so I literally just logged in you can't blame mm-hmm. me and a, and a chicken just randomly showed up on my island mm-hmm. I don't think it works that way does it what? I like literally just got here. Wait a minute. Oh, you go. I'm going to try it now. What? See if you can throw an egg across. Yep. yep. Just careful before you start that one because you know how this one ends. Oh, oh no. I don't know. No, I am fully aware. Uh, you, you, you've seen, just... you've seen the, 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 the little grinning girl image with the house burning in the background, that's how this ends. What? Yeah. I'm nowhere near her island, so it wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling judged. I, I, I love how that's your response to it, too. What? No, medics, where where, where he's like, I'm nowhere near her island. <laughs> Yes, it chicken. works. Oh, if you throw chicken. the chicken from your side to somebody else's? Yes. Oh. What have you started now? Not mm-hmm. that I'm going to do it. I just wanted well, to see No, it. someone did it to me. This is the second random chicken. He, should I come through the name tag and name him random chicken number two? I mean, you can. Is he chicken wing or chicken thigh? Hey, Reyes made the advancement. Oh. So you're complaining about the random chicken, but you're breeding them up for more chickens? 
No, I just wanted to get the advancement. It's the first time I've had two creatures that oh. could populate. <laughs> yeah, just remember, I'm not the one that threw a chicken all the way over to your island. I don't think I... You know what? Let me try. Um, You wouldn't be able to do it uh, just as a character, you know, throwing. But you could theoretically build a slime block launcher that would cross the entire oh. span of the island. You did not! No, I didn't build a slime block launcher. I need anyone in chat who <laughs> believes him to raise their hand. Look! My, my island is literally an open... Like You can see everything that I've built here. Your do island you... is literally next to mine. Where do you think the random chickens are coming from? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay. My farm may have opened up and a couple of them escaped. I was wondering where they ran off to. Well, they all ran off to my farm. Apparently so. <laughs> Could you please remove your chicken, sir? No, I literally can't. I tried pushing them. They wouldn't they wouldn't go. I can't lasso them because I can't put a lead on an animal on your island. Oh, so you knew about this. So here you are sitting there quietly <laughs> innocent while I am yelling at a certain someone for leaving chickens on my island and you knew who the perpetrator of the chickens was. It's a chicken. You should have known who the perpetrator of the chicken was. You're not one to talk. I, I was okay. Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Sir, how many chickens have you bestowed upon people's islands? None. Just the ones that escaped out of my farm. What are you doing? Right. You're right. It didn't work. What? I, I stood on, uh, on, uh center player island there and threw 16 eggs down on it right in here oh <laughs> <laughs> and there's no chickens so it didn't work but if i did it from my island it would work <laughs> but i'm not going to do that mm -hmm. no no because because this is that point in uh risk where you start going you know that's right next it's door <laughs> It's not worth it. <laughs> Especially when I can raise the drawbridges, mm -hmm. but you, can, you still have admin rights, so. <laughs> I wouldn't use admin rights for that. There's stuff I would, but that's not one of them. Yeah, I like that better. That's right, I moved the dirt box. I need some more podzel. I need more coarse dirt. If I were me, where would I have moved? That's probably more curse, coarse dirt than I need, but that'll work. Ooh, this thing is producing. Mm-hmm. A sugarcane farm. Yeah. But the sugarcane usually goes pretty quick. Probably go fishing while it's raining. Because I still so need to get the the other the other fishing challenge. So I wonder if I uh, the deep sea to... fishing. If you would happen to, if, you... if I would happen to accidentally drop 
say, 64 eggs on somebody's island. And, Hypothetically speaking. Right. Hypothetically. They, they, they exploded into, we'll give it good odds to say about 15 chickens. I wonder if that would count as 15 animals towards that player's island. It would. Because all it's doing is looking at the, the population on the island itself. It's not actually... The game doesn't care who put them there. All it's doing is a quick check to see that it's there. So, if you ah, hypothetically accidentally... Shovel dropped hypothetically accidentally or eggs and produce you know say 16 chickens inside an area on somebody's island where they don't readily see it mm -hmm. and then they're gonna have to run around trying to figure out where in the world are all these extra animals kind of like what i did early on until i until we found out that the fish count towards it against <laughs> me yeah Hmm. Mm -hmm. Good thing I'm not looking at doing that to somebody. No, they'd also have to be on to notice it. Why all the hate? Who said it was you? I mean, hypothetically, it could be somebody that's off fishing instead of working. Reyes, I am, I'm on here. I am so far away from you that I don't even think I could I could throw an egg that far. That's fair. No, I know you can't. Maybe a slime block launcher. How do you know, sir? What? No. Hmm. How do I know a slime block launcher could possibly reach from one side to the other? Mm-hmm. Well, I haven't tested it yet. Mm-hmm. Look, I I may have wondered if I could hit it diagonal, but Ar Arcadius, Arcadius' island is on the diagonal. And I wouldn't do that to a neighbor that could retaliate. Ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See, and that really sucks for me. Because Why? <laughs> I, I wouldn't do that to a neighbor that could retaliate, which only leaves one person, and I dang sure ain't going to do that to a rayist. <laughs> so, I'm, not, I'm not ready for that kind of battle. <laughs> Today on Reyes Learns Redstone. <laughs> <laughs> TNT launchers and other fun devices. Very Ooh, few I, things can inspire me to action. Just, Retaliation that, that, is one could, of them. I can just see it right now that, you know, I, I'm not on, but I'm listening through, you know, Twitch because <laughs> I try to support you even though I, I can't be on. So I'm listening through Twitch, and while I'm doing something else, all of a sudden I hear... Ooh, TT duplication along with the, the launcher really does work. Sorry, medic. <laughs> Why do you make me sound like Mickey Mouse? I don't know. That's weird. Right. I mean, you can't make you sound like something you sound like. That's not helping you, good sir. Yeah, I think <laughs> I'm going to take a break. I shall be back. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of all the fishes because they're so delicious. We haven't had those in a long time. <laughs> I was just thinking void. that. Well, I know what the hungry shoppers are going to get this weekend. Mm -mm. So I'm not, I'm not going to go shopping hungry like that again. <laughs> I think I've heard that. <laughs> I made that mistake time or two. Oh, wait. Go in with a $30 shopping list, come out mm -hmm. with $212 worth of groceries. Yeah. Most of which don't, aren't even all the components to the meal that they would go with. Right. Why in the world did I get club crackers and Nutella? <laughs> Why did I get the real peanut butter? The crunchy kind. <laughs> Ew. Why are you gross? <clears throat> oh, I got 
got a sand. Where'd I get that from? Uh, have you turned in a challenge? Is sand supposed to be a reward for that? Yeah, I was doing the carrots, but I didn't yeah. realize sand was supposed to be a reward for that. Yep. I only got one sand. I mm -hmm. thought I was supposed to get four. No. You get four from the cactus. Oh, I should do that one next. What, a cactus farm? Or just get cactus. Yeah, from I have a farm. Them. I just gotta farm them. I'm, tr I'm trying to farm everything. Do you know how long this takes? Yeah. I you, hadn't been on here in a minute. That, that, that's why you build an automatic farm. Then you just come in and right click a sign and you're good. It's perfect for Where's the person who's the AFK. Beet farmer, carrot farmer, potato farmer. Where isn't there a farmer for beetroots? Uh, not directly. There are huh. two challenges that require beetroot, but there is no beetroot farmer challenge. So to do the expert awesome. farmer, you have to have some beetroot. Uh, beetroot, you can also turn into red dye. Yep. Oh, that's a thing. Yep, that's a thing. And if you ever decide to get into villagers, uh, the farmer villagers will trade beetroot randomly. Some of them, depending on how lucky or unlucky you are. Just so you know, I do have a farmer that trades beetroot, so... If you need emeralds, you bring me bunches of beetroots and I'll trade with them. Okay. That was not a good place to do that, sir. Someone decided to try to hand me stuff, which, while appreciated, oh. was done in a very unfortunate place. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want this to be how I found out I accidentally made the roof too low. Where did you put that bed? Oh, never mind. Hmm? I thought you were. I thought you were Arcadius. It's the beard, isn't it? Any day now. Hey, is there a quest for any of this need stuff? All of us to sleep to get rid of it. Oh. Yeah, because it's six thirty in the morning. Oh. Dog on it. All right. Is there a quest like for any of this bed. stuff? For any of which stuff? Uh, he handed me a bunch of stuff. I don't know. I just gave you a bunch of stuff I had extra of. Thank you. Okay, I'm in bed. Oh. I left because I didn't Did realize I that thun uh, apparently thunderstorms require everybody to sleep. I'm in bed. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm back in bed. With a jubba staring at me over the edge. Which seems oddly familiar. Medic sleeps. Might have stepped AFK. Sleepy your station. <laughs> yeah. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. All right, I guess we'll find out if that uh, if that roof is at the right level. Because I, I know there is a a too close to the villagers, just like that last roof was too close to the sheep. In uh, season one. Can you make me more of the stone that I'm standing on? What stone are you standing on? This one. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Can I get a description? <laughs> uh, it's gray and it's got cubes. I think it's the chisel that she's talking about. Okay. It's 
Surprised you haven't made a stone cutter yet. Yep, that. Grain cubes. Arcadia saw this in the Discord chat for CoffeeCraft. Well, for the Anon Junior private Discord. Um, on Cord Killers, they were talking about how Hayden Christensen has been uh, contracted for both the Obi-Wan TV series and the Ashoka TV series. Why? Because he's Vader. Why not? Because... No, he's not. Wait, do I have my actor? Hold on. No, you, you're right. Okay. I was <laughs> like, wait a minute. You, you've got he's me. a whiny brat. He's a teenager. Well, I want to agree <laughs> with you. Strictly based on script naming, he is, he is technically Vader. No, he's Anakin. There's a difference. <laughs> anyway anyway um and, and so tom looks at brian and, and goes so what do you think and, and, and brian goes yeah I, i'm not thinking much of anything i i it, i know i know i'm a disappointment to everyone just like Anakin. <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Tom, Tom's big question was if people's reaction to... Uh to the news was, was related in some way or uh, attributable in some way to how they feel about the prequels. Like, the people who are fine with the prequels in some way, shape, or form are probably going to be more fine with Hayden Christensen being in there. Yeah, but those are the same kind of people who, like, put pineapple on their pizza, so... The pineapple on pizza is tasty. You are disgusting. I'm gonna have to quit the server. It's ran by a pineapple lover. Well, yeah, but you gotta... I mean, you gotta pair it with, um... You gotta pair it with some ham. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> and pineapple matter of fact when I, when I taught uh, when I used to help somebody teach uh, classes there was a cardiologist who uh, would always order what we jokingly started to call the cardiologist special and it was a thin crust no cheese pizza with light sauce pineapple and feta cheese oh I, I'll oh, meet you halfway there, Wooly. Uh, pineapple is tasty depending on what it's paired with. But I, I also absolutely love uh, some ham and pineapple. Mm -mm. No? <laughs> no. I've never been so disappointed in my life. Uh, I beg to differ, but. That's just because you've worked for me and you've seen some of the things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, I, I, I've seen you look at a yellowed tag.
I, I know how you get when somebody hasn't uh, done appropriate maintenance. I need more of the blocks that I'm standing on, please. Again? Yeah, I'm, I, I need enough to cover this entire platform. Okay. <laughs> When you say this entire platform, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, lo <laughs> I don't think that's the question you really want answered. You don't want to know. Promise, you don't. I mean, he wants to know. In the he sense, he doesn't want to know. In the sense that he doesn't want to know. No, he doesn't want to know. Let me help you. You don't want to know. promise I really wish you could power stone cutters with redstone and just you know get get a hopper going in the top have some interface for selecting what you want it to output and then just let everything drop in and drop out and bam 82 stacks or whatever Not sure what I missed while I was gone, but a I lot. Will, I will say that Wooly is my type of person. Pineapple <laughs> is tasty, no matter what it's on. Oh, Ham, too. Pizza. Hey, turn around. Calzone. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at all the thingies. Oh, so many. Is that enough for me to do the platform? I have no idea. That, that's just what I had handy. Need a boxing. Pineapple, wrapped in pineapple, marinated Ew. in pineapple juice. No. Mm -hmm. now, now you're starting to sound like Colonel. He was the guy with the salt to pickle and drink the juice. Pickle juice is pretty good. Pickle uh, juice is pretty good. Uh, no. No. Mm-hmm. Especially when you have cramps. When you have what? Oh, true. Cramps. cramps. I mean, I, I guess the salt is good for that, but... <gasps> oh, does anyone want to hear my hilarious story from work today? Oh, no. I'll be right back. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Why did you go away? <laughs> Joking, go ahead. <laughs> anyway, oh, so a I customer need to be up calls there anyway. <laughs> and asks if we're still selling our Beretta. I don't work for an arms dealer. <laughs> okay. So, so I just go. I'm. 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 I'm sorry. Could, could you repeat that, please? Your 2015 Beretta that you have on sale. <laughs> and I'm super confused. And this very sweet lady assures me, she's like, I saw your ad for it. And I'm trying to figure out what in the world is happening. So I ask if I can put her on hold and tell her I, I don't, you know, none of my job normally revolves around selling things. So, um... I need to go talk to someone who, who might know such things uh, as I walk to one of the guys in the yard and I'm like, um, do we sell firearms here? Which is apparently a really weird question to ask a colleague. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the guys are looking at me like I'm insane going, no, <gasps> never mind. And apparently there is a type of machine that we use <laughs> oh. that is also <laughs> called a Beretta. <laughs> and they're like, no, you mean this. And it, it is a thing. And then they look at me and they go, you're from the South, aren't you? And I go, 
N no, why would you think that? And they're like, well, how did you know that a Beretta was a weapon? And I was like, uh, I'm from a military family? So, yeah, they, they had fun with the random colleague asking about firearms at work today. <laughs> and that was my day. That, that certainly sounds something. In a nutshell. I, I just... Do you have a Beretta? I was so confused. I got hit on yesterday by a woman that was old enough to be my mother. Um, okay. That, that says something, considering how old I am. Well, I also have a question about... You don't deal in person, so how did you know their age? Because what I deal with does show me all the personal information of said people. Ah, okay. Protected health information. That makes that make a lot more sense, because otherwise I was very, very concerned. Still yeah. kind of concerned, but... Because you know me, I don't leave my house, so... Well, you see why I'm like, uh, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, I've been out there. You're not missing anything. But it's just odd when you're talking to someone in, you know, over the phone that you've never met, never talked to before, and they tell you you have a bedroom voice. Uh, um. mm, that feels icky. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> like, uh, my voice has been described as many things. That is not one of them. In until yesterday. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, please take the survey and uh, rate your interaction with me today. <laughs> She had a wonderful time. This makes me well, you didn't make that could... weirder at all. Nope. 10 out of 10 would call again. <laughs> <laughs> makes me wonder if I should change my profession. <laughs> to what? Telephone gigolo. There you go. Is that a thing? That is uh, a thing. Never mind. We're happy things. Yeah. Happy conversations today. We hey, are having... Who you asked <laughs> <laughs> easy though easy happy. though <laughs> <laughs> and this is what walking into it looks like craft after dark <laughs> oh it's too far. Some days. Although there are there are times where just being on Coffee Craft it puts me in the in this I'm a celebrity mood. I was really wondering where you were going with that for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> what, I really didn't know where we break? were about to go with that. <gasps> no! No! Uh-oh! 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 Uh -oh. Sleepy time! Sleepy time! Sleepy time! Oh no! All the no's! Why? Someone's sleepy! Huh? Someone's sleepy! I gotta get to a bed. Did, uh... Oh! Oh! I, I take it your island's not a mushroom, is it? Nope! Nope! That, that nope! Nope! <laughs> Oops. Oh, those kind of bad guys. Okay, I have got to light up down here better because they're, th this whole flock of bats thing is... Ah. Is 
Is it driving you batty? Where is he? <laughs> I don't see where he went. Probably died. <laughs> no. The one that's here is not dying. Here, I'll shoot arrows from my <laughs> battlements and see if I can't hit one. No, you don't understand. The saddest of creatures. Phantom? Nope. Oh, you got a creeper. Mm-hmm. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, there's a skelly, though. Were you upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs. Oh, that was beautiful. There's one more. I can't. He wants my face. He's outside of my render. Room. Oh, no. Now he's coming. <laughs> he wants my face. <laughs> <laughs> You appear to have been struck with a couple of arrows. Oh, and I forgot that you had the wandering trader head on, too. <laughs> I was like, when did you recolor your hoodie to be blue? <laughs> wow. So that happened. Yep. Okay, but I still gotta find the green guy. Uh, if you head all the way down to the bottom, that, that should uh, move him out of to the far enough away that he'll despawn, assuming Medic leaves your island too. So if he leaves, I leave, and you head all the way down to the bottom, he should despawn within yeah, a few seconds. Yeah, but the only seconds. way I can get to the bottom is by going past where he was. Oh. Here, I'll go check and see if he's down there. Because the worst that could happen is that he just blows up and blows a hole in your stuff. And That's not funny. Uh, okay, level where your bed and stuff is is clear. He might already be gone, too. Do they despawn like that? They can, if they move far enough out of range. Okay. Then maybe I got far oh. enough out of range when I ran. I'm about halfway down your staircase. Oh no, he was like up here. Oh no, then, he was, like, then he's the not. Here. He was like in my business. Okay, well, you said that you couldn't go down and check because you passed by where he was at. Yeah, because he was right here by the entrance. Oh. Yeah, well, I didn't see him up there either. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. That wasn't terrifying, that delay between when I actually clicked and when the block actually appeared. And I was trying to light things. Don't be green. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did, did you just tell a frog to not be green? Shush. Okay, J just checking. Just checking. I mean, I knew it wasn't easy being green and all, but still. I turned around and saw a green thing there was scary.
to focus when you start getting close to the border of the island. <laughs> shift and crawl. Shift if and crawl. If you would build towards my island, you wouldn't have to worry about it because there's a already landmass over here. I'm working on that. I got to figure out what I'm going to build over where the mob farm is. Because I want to make sure that whatever I build there doesn't, you know, become a problem for crossing borders. Oh, that would be the end of the island. Okay. Yeah, because those two chunks that the mob farm are in will always be able to spawn something. So i got to figure out what I'm going to put on top of that. That's not going to have critters walking across the border and causing problems for my neighbor. Uh, I, I hear uh, sending minions off to your neighbor's island is a recipe for frustration and disaster. So, some people Moderately. tend to not like it when you uh, send people across the bridge to their island because you couldn't bother to light it up. It's never happened. Never happened? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, there's no reason why at the very beginning I put gates right at the <laughs> end of my island. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't know what I was thinking. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, everybody here would absolutely mob proof their island. Mine was mob proofed until that happened. I keep looking at my island and looking at Arcadius's island, and now my island feels inadequate. <laughs> Why? Because he did such a great job on his on the island. decoration. You have like life in yours. I just can't get the hang of that silly book. Oh, the armor stand book. Yeah. It it does take a it does take a little getting used to, but once you do, you you can do some fun stuff with that. My island is lit enough now. Did you not do the uh, challenge that lets you change it to a mushroom biome? I need sheeps. Okay. How else does one procure the sheepies? Uh, that's easy. You have somebody on one of your adjacent islands that <laughs> leads a sheep to your island, or right at the edge of your island, takes the lead away, and then makes sure that it can't run to the, back to their island. Oh, I gotta finish making their home. And That's you, an option. And you hold your wheat in your hand, and they'll come to Again, you. Again, if that's an option, you get I, a... I gotta finish making their home. Well, there is a three-wide bridge all the way to your island now, so it is <laughs> actually, yeah, exactly there is an option. <laughs> uh, yeah, there there is a proper bridge connecting everybody's island now. Or you could have gone through the bottom. Mm, not if it's coming from my island. <laughs> my my bottom's not uh, filled out or connected. Exactly. Wait. Did you not connect the bottom of your island to medics? I thought you had the oh. bottom connected, like a walkway or something at least. Oh. No? Why would I do that? That's resources I don't need to waste. Right. Huh. <laughs> Says the guy that built a building out of ancient debris. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, it's a house. They needed it. It's I, for I, protection. I really do need to get some more ancient debris. <laughs> Although right. I will admit that it did make me want to build my entire castle in the back out of ancient degree, debris instead of city. <laughs> ancient degree? Yeah, I think I earned one of those. All my textbooks are out of date now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's a, it's a paperweight. 
Well, I, I don't think there's too much programming jobs for uh, VB6 programmers. Um, or COBOL. Or RPG4. What do COBOLs have to do with this? No, not COBOLD. COBOL. COBOLT would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we do have that <clears throat> campaign coming up, too. Mm-hmm. With Tailspire, baby! Yeah! Yeah, that that does look very interesting. That certainly solves some of the the weirder issues oh. that we've come up with. I mean, it still doesn't it still doesn't solve the problem when somebody summons five celestial bison to land on the enemy ship. But <laughs> <laughs> come on, that was awesome. <laughs> that, that was uh, oh, don't hear what I'm about to say. That was awesome. Uh, I, I I I don't think somebody was expecting that to happen, but. I don't know why she wasn't. That's all we've done this game is drop stuff on people. <laughs> I mean, that that is fair. I'm not going to say it's not. So, uh, <laughs> what is the damage that a woolly mammoth causes falling 353 <laughs> feet? What's the airspeed velocity of a, a bison thrown by a tree ant? Yeah. <laughs> With a strength score of 33? Is it an arctic buffalo? Or... Is it a European buffalo or an African buffalo? <laughs> well, I don't know that. It's a buffalo. A buffalo. Mm -hmm. More like a buffalo. Uh, a buffalo. Buffalo. -nope. <laughs> I haven't played that game in forever. That's what? a good game. Exploding oh, the kittens. exploding kittens. Hi, guys. Who's got emeralds for me? What do I want to make my chicken coop out of? Show me the emeralds. Ancient debris. No. I don't have a way to get to the place with the stuff. A <laughs> way to get to the place with the stuff? Yeah. Come on, guys. Okay. Yeah, I haven't made a, a, the, the purpley, blackish, bluey thing yet. Another portal? All right. <clears throat> there you go. My kobold cleric has been bought. Nice. I need to go back and double check mine. And I would love to know why my armor is refusing to do the trade. Did you lose your workstation? Did you forget where it was? It's right there. It's right where it's been this entire time. Trade with me. Okay. Guess you're not. All right. Fine. This is going to be an entertaining session, isn't it? Or game, campaign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you say that like it had any option to be anything else. You're, you're running a game with, you know, a bunch of cobalt, dragon rot cobalts. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah, I love how we went from, here's my first campaign. Let's go easy on the GM, which you guys did, and I appreciate it, to... Oh, it's now her first actual campaign that's not out of a book. Let's come up with the weirdest, most obscure group on the planet. <laughs> you, I'm glad you, you understand how this works. You, you're ready for it. Look, uh -huh. nobody's playing a scion, so you don't have to answer, does it breathe? What are you talking about? I would understand a scion. They are my people. Hey, at least we all chose to do the same race. <laughs> Fair. So only have to worry about one set of rules for that. Yeah. Right. But then you also each have like 27 templates. No, no. I have one. Three. Two. Two. Well, depends. Do you count the dragon rod as a template or not? Yes. Okay. Then, then I have two. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Just saying. This is already getting more complicated. Nah. 
It's fine. We'll see. That's okay. At least because then you guys are psionic, I can throw lots of psionics at you. Mm -hmm. well, it's funny that you say that because <laughs> my backup character. Why do you have a backup <laughs> character? Are you expecting me to kill you? Yes. Well, I mean. I haven't killed anyone yet. <laughs> not for lack of trying. <laughs> there, yeah, there were. Okay. I, I, I do, I do recall, <laughs> I do recall a certain. Uh, character being a little little closer to death's doorstep than anybody was comfortable with uh, a couple of times there which one certain t-rex eaten ones that's yeah um, yeah yeah that was the thing I, and he wasn't even supposed to be that bad or you know my my favorite thing is when it's like okay i am going to cast the biggest baddest spell i have on this guy so i can get a hit in Resistance. I cast blah blah blah. Oh well, his AC is fifty-seven. So sorry, you missed. <laughs> there have been a couple of those that even I've looked at. It, I'm like, how? I want to see the math on how they got this character stats. <laughs> uh, is it the one that's supposed to be surviving to later in the campaign? That is. Uh, oh wait, no, no. Actually, we murdered that one. That one. <laughs> we murdered that one dead. Twice. Three oh, times. It, is it three it, times now? Yeah, you're up to three on that character, and that character's supposed to be like one of the like throughout the entire campaign characters. Ah, oh, silly book. The, fir the first time too was with a spell that I had just picked up, like on that trip. <laughs> I hit with poison needles, and it it put her to sleep. Where we could coup de grace. <laughs> well, I have to say, I think my favorite sentence to come out of this campaign, outside of "What is the weight of this character falling on the up?" That one. Ah, <laughs> uh, is hearing someone go, guys, guys, guys. <laughs> This is a prefab campaign, not a Reyes campaign. It doesn't want us to think. It just wants us to tear down the door and go in. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, there is a reason why in in the, uh, the new campaign coming up that is a Reyes campaign that I have chosen to play a cleric who uses the... Um, the wisdom for her turns in rebukes instead of charisma and then dumped my charisma. I'm not going to battle wits with Reyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that to somebody who can actually physically look at her and decide whether or not they know what's going on. Uh, and who would that be? <laughs> you. Jabba. <laughs> No, Java won't look her in the eye. <laughs> Come on now. No, he won't. Well, he will for like a split second. Uh, he will if he hears a bag crinkle. True. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Every time, every time somebody's tried to open a bag of something. He does love a good bag. Ooh. Oh. You made creatures too. Yeah, for some reason I thought I had done that already with the uh with the chickens. Oh no, I just kept feeding ed eggs into the dispenser until more chickens came out. Okay. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just keep cracking eggs. I yeah. can't wait to put you guys in a dungeon. That. <laughs> I, 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 I had a today's out of that. context clips <laughs> <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time I heard that I'd have me a dollar <laughs> it'll be okay I promise mm-hmm like I said, I got my backup character, and I'm already working on Hero Forge 
Oh, my backup character. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe you guys have backup characters. It's the one that everybody wants me to play. I don't have a backup oh, a character bard? yet. Yeah. My backup I do like your bards. Bard. I just have to figure out what his bardic special is going to be. I've already done haikus. <laughs> Did someone blow up a creeper on my on my base? No. Mm -mm. I have two blocks that used to be pretty stone and now are not. Uh. Is it not going to let hmm. me sleep? I would prefer you not for a few seconds. Okay. Oh, uh, that is not an option with the current state of my base. Oh, okay. It's not letting me sleep either, though. Oh. Uh. Stupid storm. Is it another one of those storms, or are we having problems with the multiplayer sleep? Oh, there nope. we go. Weird. Um... Here, let me do this. Let me go help you with lighting. Let me get, oh, uh, let me go video settings. I wanted to turn smooth lighting off, resource packs. Actually, I've been meaning to do this to my own island too, to figure out where all the bats are coming from. Oh, there's a lot of ground over there for the bats to come from. See, that's odd, because <laughs> I have nothing, uh, no lighting done, because I'm on a moosh, the, the mushroom thing. Uh, because and, uh, because the bat, uh, bats will always spawn at a certain level underground, and this area and, is top slabs. So e even though that area is not lit because it's bottom slabs, it's not a problem. But this area, because it's top slabs, this corner right here is going to spawn bats because it's under a certain Y level, even in a mushroom. Same with a couple of spots over here. Um, so I was going to say, I, I don't have problems with bats at all. A couple all. of spots over here. Yeah, so the bottom slabs aren't the problem, but there, there's enough areas here and there on the island that... Uh, it is a problem. I just... Why are there so many? Alright. Let me get to what I was actually going to do. Uh... You've got... I mean, you just put this area down, so I'm sure you know that there's some areas over here that aren't lit. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm working on. Although, if you want to go ahead and check everywhere else while I finish this, and then you can tell me if this and is done. So you know the center is not lit? Yeah. Okay. Including, for some reason, that one odd block over there, which kind of surprises me. This one right here. Hmm. That seems strange. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have expected that. Alright, so, yeah, and you know that area is almost certainly that way too. Those are all bottom slabs and it doesn't matter. Nothing can spawn on the leaf blocks. So unless there's a wood block up above there somewhere. Uh... Okay, there's no branch on the jungle tree. Oh, but you might want to put something on top of your um, your stack of logs for the... <gasps> Is that where they're coming from? Possibly. That, that is one potential area, because there's not enough light up on top of where the... the 
Cocoa beans. Yeah, that took too long to figure out. My brain. Oh, it makes me feel any better. It's like 8.30 and my eyes are drooping. Oh, I, I, I hear you on that one. Uh, my sleep has been a little worse than usual lately. Ooh, look at the chickens. Oh, no, I can't pick up the egg and toss it on the island. I mean, not that I wanted to try. Uh, your farm is, your farmland is also not well lit. I didn't know I had to. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Because it's farmland. Especially since you got these areas here where there's uh, melons and pumpkins that are solid blocks. Uh, the only one that doesn't seem to be lit right is the waterlogged block there, so that should be okay. Same with over here. It's not well lit, but it's waterlogged, so nothing should be spawning there. I'm like 98% sure that your uh, farmland is still technically spawnable. How about now? For which the farmlander? Yeah, try the uh, where the wheat is. Where the wheat is? Hmm? Okay, because that's not what it sounded like you said. Hmm. Potato, potato. Yeah, that does seem to... Oh, are you just going <laughs> to... you, you going to get rid is of the composter in the middle and... Uh, I mean, if you get mm -hmm. if you're gonna do that, why not just do a uh, jack o' lantern on top of the composter? Because those aren't jack o' lanterns over there. No, I mean you got all the pumpkins and you got all the torches. Uh, just make some, make a bunch of jack o' lanterns. They put out the same light as a torch. And but those are not pumpkins over there. Well, as far as I know, you can't put a torch inside a melon. And now you understand the issue. I don't, but I'm going to carry you along like I do. Okay. You said this one's fine because it's water? Yeah, it seems to be, yeah. The areas that don't seem well lit are waterlogged areas unless... Um, just to double check... No, that is nine. That should be fine. I mean, unless for symmetry, you'd want to throw a torch in the middle of that anyway. I know how you get about that kind of thing. Checking to see if I picked it up. I can't pick it up. It's your island. Call it a night. Yeah, I think it's about time. Yeah. Hey, bud. I get it. Good to see you on again, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, did uh, Arcadius tell you why I missed last Tuesday? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Bad day? No, I forgot it was a Tuesday. Oh. I've had those days. I've so had those days. You also got but a little I area that's not firm landed anymore over here, too. Sometime this week, I should find out my actual schedule starting uh, the 18th of November, I believe. Okay. So you figure out if you get a regular schedule getting ready to happen or not? Well, it's going to be a lot better than any of the schedules I've had in the past 10 years, but... 
Uh, it'll, so, <laughs> some of those aren't exactly hard to pass, good sir. <laughs> yeah. So it's, I'm either going to be working uh, 8 to 4.30, 9 to 5.30, or 10 to 6.30. One of the three. Okay. And once I get that schedule, then I can actually start planning out when I'm going to do stuff. Uh, and hopefully be able to start sleeping well enough to where I can uh, and get good enough at work to where I can actually play games in the evenings instead of vegging on the couch because I feel like nothing. Uh, I've had those days. Mm-hmm. Are you really doing this whole top platform out of chiseled stone? Yeah. All right. You guys have fun. Have fun. Do, do, do you want some help building a carpet duplicator so you can just start cooking all the gobble to make this happen? Sure. I didn't think you liked duplicators. One season I try to work without them. And all of a sudden it becomes, you don't like. I, I, I think there is a middle ground. I still don't like the zero tick stuff, but that's no longer in the game anyway. Um, some of the duplicators I don't mind playing with, but it, it it's, yeah, it's complicated. There's a balance point somewhere in there. Oh no. Oh no. I lost my water. Uh, you should probably also take a nap, since you got all these unlit areas over here. Are you doing more of the squares like that on this side? Uh, that's going to be my farmland. For my, like, for my creatures. Uh, okay. Uh... <laughs> You, you want to make sure you have at least one grass block where the sheep can't reach. <laughs> Just saying. Mm. <laughs> Why will the sheep eat all the grass? They can, yes. yeah. yeah. I can, they will. Well, that's why I have my safety blocks. Well, you know, just just so that way you know that is a uh, that is a thing. They will do that to you. They, they will overeat their area. Like, that's why the wool farm had, uh, had glass over the grass blocks around the border. Oh, I didn't mean for you to go there. How come you got there? Okay, how's that? That all looks better. Just, you know, you're going to have to get a light in the middle of the squares on the other ones. Yeah. I'm actually surprised you haven't bothered anybody for enough iron to put lanterns instead of torches on a lot of this. Because I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them. Okay. All right, I'm going to get back to my... Back to my island. Oh, cool. thank you. See if the uh, see if the grass grew. I need lots of dirt, a lot more dirt. Oh, once I put stuff in the middle, it should be good, right? Yeah, when, once you get a light source in the middle, it should be good. A as long as you're sticking to the same pattern, which knowing you, you you're going to be sticking to the same pattern. Mm-hmm. Oh, you'll love this. So uh -oh. I was talking to one of the guys at work today and we we're going over a inventory report and going over how some adjustments we're going to apply and everything. And we finished one section and, and I had information written on a sticky note and the sheet that I was putting the sticky note on was lined. So I like I like I wasn't even aware that I did this until the person I was talking to made a comment, <laughs> but they were like, is there a reason that had to be on that line and just so? And I looked down and when I put the sticky note on it, I made sure the sticky note was like perfectly centered and along the line and all that stuff. And I just looked up and went, because I'm me? And apparently that was an acceptable answer. It was or was not? 
was. Huh. They just went, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, look, a, a certain former coworker of yours commented immediately on that Microsoft whiteboard article with, it has sticky notes. I know that made me so happy. The sticky notes and the comment. <laughs> Uh, we have a problem. We have a problem? What? The lead's broke. <laughs> oh, once you cross the, the island border? Yeah. So, um, I'm over here by your carrots if you want to come collect your uh, sheep. Whose carrots? I told you I didn't have a place for them yet. They have leads. Just put them somewhere. The, the, That's <laughs> not how this works. I was waiting for that part. I think I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do for my quartz. You said the 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 Taj Mahal achievement. It has to be within how many blocks? Oh, thirty blocks. So that means I got a thirty block radius to put together a temple of quartz. Hmm. Are you just chilling with some sheepies? Well, I'm trying to. I can't pick up the leads because I'm on your island, so I'm just holding this one piece of weed I brought with me. <laughs> Where'd the leads go? Like, they broke. Can I attach it to a stone fence? No, it's got to be a wooden fence. They won't walk. They're stuck. Move. Move your fat sheepy butt. There you go. Uh, they're a little bit wider than your walkway. Well, two of them together are wider than your walkway. Is that a... What head is that? Oh, your lead's back here behind the sheep. Hold on, I'm just going to go get a fence. Here, I was going to aid you a wheat. Maybe they'll follow that. Come on, guys. Follow the wheat. No. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not go in that direction. <laughs> One of Where the leads back go? there in the tunnel. Over there, right? why you're not chaining them up together? I don't know. Okay. As long as there's okay. a reason. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Will we make them happy? Uh, yeah, one each. And they'll make a, a baby. Careful, they need Alan. to be Brush across leads, from the wheat farm. <laughs> Uh, so do cows. Yeah. Carrots for, uh, piggies. The piggies. Does anything need to be across oh, from sorry. bamboo? Uh, Pandas. Sugar cane? Chickens mm. don't eat grass, do they? Uh, they eat wheat seeds. Oh. Hmm. Why is okay. your organization system not working out? The horses no. can go across from your uh, sugar cane because they eat sugar. Hmm. No, I may need to change my farms up. I'm glad this... I told you this now instead of later. Chickens, yeah. sheep, and cows all need wheat. Uh. Ultimately, yes. Yeah. Because uh, I, I know what you're getting at, so yeah. Does anything need pumpkins or melons? 
Uh, no. No. Okay, so if I invert the melons and the wheat, that could work there, and then pigs and horses. That could work. Mm, but then that's out of order. <laughs> I have to think on this. For the horses, isn't Should it? it is now, it though. golden carrots or is it wheat as well? Uh, regular carrots. Sugar has a better percentage chance of giving you what you want. Um, hay blocks, I think, is the third thing you can feed them to make uh, make babies. Yeah, I just remember that there was a bunch of a bunch of different options for the horses. Yeah, there there's a bunch of options, but I think the best option. In most cases, it's sugar. Hmm. You get a better percentage chance of getting stats from, uh, or the better stats from each parent. Mm. Oh. Don't you start that? No, I'm. I may be calling it myself as well. I want to. Well, because I'm hungry. <laughs> wanted to try to get a couple of uh, blocks going first. I figure we'll go. All right, so that's where the that's where the bridge is. We'll get one block under the bridge, one two of water. Oh, oh, oh let's try this again. Bridge, spare, water, water. And then we'll get the glass going here. So we'll get maybe uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, 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 <laughs> Sleepy time, thank you. <laughs> Hey, Beach Duck. What do you mean, really? I thought that was an old thing. No, that was a recent one. Okay. I don't know what the recent really is about, but... It's all your fault. I'm sure it is. I still need... Actually, that's not, that might not be that bad. I still need to get a light source and a bunch of blue carpet. But 
but I think that might work better than uh better than I thought. I'm just gonna be buying a lot of glass. That might work. So I got three layers of the blue, two layers of the cyan, and then two layers of the light blue. Although, I think... I think where the cyan and light blue meet, I might flip them in patches and see if that doesn't give it a little bit more of a texture. Of course, there's also going to be uh, two layers of water above this fog as well. But, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll leave that there and have a good think on it. That's a lot of glass. And carpet and lanterns. That all right? That's what I need to do for. I think Friday. I, yeah, Friday. I need to get a good quality mob farm going. Where am I going to put a farm for? Um, guardians. It's light blue and cyan. Why do you want to farm them? For sea lanterns? You would farm the ugly fishes? Yeah, where do you think we got all our sea lanterns last season? They're not delicious. Well, I mean, they do give salmon and cod. I get that without ugly fish. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just saw the random drop of water come down. Are, are, are you taking a water elevator down, or was that a mistake? Or did something overflow? Something may have overflown. Okay. And technically speaking, you, uh, you do like the ugly fish. No, mm -hmm. she likes the product of the angry fish. She does not actually, in fact, like the angry fish. Okay, that's fair. I'll give you that one. All right. Oh, shenanigans. What? How? How what? My water glitched. What do you mean glitched? Mm. All my stairs are sad. It glitched through the floor. I was pulling water out of here and it randomly poured down through those wood things. Uh, are those slabs? Because you can waterlog a yeah. slab. Oops. Yeah, so it didn't glitch. You just waterlogged a slab. How do I... The water won't stop. What do you mean? I keep pulling it out of the pool in different corners to try to make it not be there anymore. Well, yeah, because you have endless water sources. Yeah, that's exactly what you need to do if you want it to stop. <laughs> yeah, I was moving the endless water source. It can be endless just elsewhere. Endlessly somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Oh, is this your uh, grass line coming mm -hmm. to these two sides? Yep. I should try to figure out how to name these Mutton 1 and Mutton 2. They're not Mutton. Mutton and Chop? That. No. 
You oh. guys are the only ones that eat that kind of stuff. No, I should name one tasty and the other mutton. Ew. No. You can do that on your own island. <laughs> I like how he's going to other <laughs> islands and thinking he's naming stuff. <laughs> it could happen. Do that on your own island. One can be lamey and one can be lamb chop. I'm not going to worry about that right now, but I need to make sure that all that quartz is in a 30 block radius. So if I call this the center, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Yeah. All right. I just need to make uh, some quartz fixtures. I just need, I need, I need to expand out these platforms. These are a little bit smaller than I want to go building stuff like that on um where's the smooth quartz matter of fact let me put all the smooth quartz down there pillars blocks stairs pillars smooth quartz chiseled certain puppy needs to get his foods and meds and I am hungry so I think I am going to tap out six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and then there were only two no uh, I'm marking out a 30 block radius um so that way I know where all the quartz has to be built within. And then I'm going to have to spend a lot of time AFK to get enough dirt to make that happen. But I think what I'm going to do is instead of building a quartz pyramid, I'm going to build four quartz fountains in each of these corners. Maybe put a statue in the middle of them. Ooh, that, that could work. Make a, make little quartz pools with a statue in the front with a fountain. Something like that. Oh. Hmm. Alright, I'll have to I'll have to see what I can build with that. Ah. bucket of lava so I can get a basalt farm going. Although I think I need more obsidian than what I have and to figure out where where the blast chamber for that's going because I, I still want to go back to my other idea of having uh, a redstone based cobble farm pushing cobble into a blast chamber and then have a uh, the basalt coming from a different side and maybe a concrete maker coming from a third side and a tree farm that'll probably only work with birch and oak coming from a fourth side feeding into the same blast chamber although I still gotta get I still gotta get the dead coral and some wandering idiot never seems to spawn on my island once i yes i have seen one on my island and look he's got places to be he could be up here but no he spawns over there 
Are you hating on my island? I'm not hating on your island. I'm hating on the wandering trader. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta double up on that. I gotta get, yeah. I need more dirt and sand. Well, to be fair, since the incident on my island, he hasn't come back. Well, I, I guess what irritates me so much about it is that any other time I'm trying to build something and I don't want one nearby, there's five of them that pop up in the middle of the redstone or in the middle of the farm. But the one time I really could use a wandering trader. You know, somebody with a little more grass than uh, or sand. Watch, I'll get one and he won't show up with any, any sand or any coral fans, which are the two things I need. As rare as those items are, are you willing to trade for them? I'm willing to trade with a wandering trader for them. Okay, just making sure. Mm -hmm. It's what my island produces. That's what I'm trying to stick to. Okay. Just making sure. <sighs> You're one pumpkin short. Come on. Hmm? One more pumpkin. Harvest pumpkins from the farm. One. I expand that out. I still got to decorate that farm too. That that's ugly as all get out. I got to do something. About, that farm's ugly as all get out too, and I got to finish decorating that later. I also wouldn't mind putting up uh, some actual walls and making this feel like rooms rather than just a random platform at the bottom of the world. With my little... You don't like your random platform? Morlocks. It was the Morlocks that were under the ground, right? Hmm. And it was the... The... Do you know how long it's been since I read the time machine? Nope. Longer than it's been for me. <laughs> Alright. You're hungry. <laughs> I am hungry. But I have a completionist. Uh yeah. That that that's usually what ends up grabbing me at, at these points. Like that that's why I ended up working on that line of land long after I finished the live stream because you know, I, I had the materials and it was so close. And it was all right there. I mean the grass has grown almost out to the edge. Um, I think I need to figure out what I'm going to do towards that direction. I'm going to have to start trading for a ton of glass so I can do those seven layers all the way out to the edge here. Um... I also need to make sure I build an edge so the water doesn't fall off the end of the world. Or do I? I mean, it's just going into the void. Nah. I don't know that I want the water falling off into the end of the world. Do you, uh, have another water incident? No. No? No. So those pillars of water that are falling are not from another water incident? No, that was okay. intentional. Oh, oh, that was intentional. Mm. Are you riding the water down to the lower island? No. Okay. Uh, I still need more coarse dirt, podzel, and grass to go towards that end. Although I do need to find out where that end is, because I'm going to stop about four or five blocks short. Maybe. Of my island? No, of that edge of my island. I, I want oh. this river that runs between Medic's Island and mine to wrap around that corner a little bit. 
so there's not this weird end of a river right there at the corner. I gotta figure out what I'm doing for the spot above the mob farm where your island and mine abuts. Uh, I can at least get to the left of it down though, but I need uh, I need a lot more dirt and grass. Always more dirt and grass. I need more of the pretty stone. Really? Which yeah. one? The, the one that we've been using. The chiseled? Oh. I thought she wanted the other stuff. I was like, yay, someone to give it away to. Do, no, I do want the other pretty stuff too. Do you have a stone cutter? Yeah. Okay, so if I give you the raw stone, you can use a stone cutter to make it chiseled. As long as it's actual stone, yeah. I need it to be not cobblestone. I mean, if it's cobble, you can always cook it. Yeah, I don't have the resources for that. I don't have a furnace ready to do it fast. Give me a minute and I can get you a little more. Cool, thank you. I'm not giving you all the stone I have, but I will give you a double chest worth. Thank you. Okay, where to put all this at? <laughs> that is the eternal question, isn't it? Will bone meal grow grass? Yes. Hold on. Uh, Hold wait, on no, 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 not, not what you're talking about. It will not get the grass to extend from a grass block to a dirt block. Over here, Arcadius. As far as I know, there's no way to accelerate a grass block to a dirt block. <laughs> oh, and to answer your question from earlier, this is a skeletal horse head. Okay. I, I couldn't quite figure out what that was. You gotta look at it from the side. From, like, an angle. Well, I saw it from the side, side, but I, it still didn't quite make sense. But I also don't know that I've seen a skeletal horse head drop all that frequently. This is the first one I've ever seen, so I put it on my head. I mean, I've seen <laughs> one, I've seen ones from other people's streams, but not, not in any game that we've played. Yeah, this is the first one I've ever seen, so I put it on my head. <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might need to leave myself AFK while uh, the videos upload so I can have the uh, sugarcane and cactus farms and uh, my melon pumpkin farms all growing. I was thinking the same thing, but Honestly, just to get the stone back I've been giving away. <laughs> oh, what, going AFK at your uh, cobble generator? Yeah. I don't know what I need all the stone for, but I've given away almost a box of it, so... Nah, you can always use more. For what? <laughs> There's always something else to build. Plus, I used a lot of the stone to make some redstone components. I went through a fair amount of cobble, too. I, I got enough pistons to last me a little while. Uh, a couple of observers. I need to make more dispensers, but... Uh, oh, making dispensers. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> also, when I put these temporary boxes here, I was reminded why I cleared the junk in front of the uh, main storage system as I kept tripping over them and causing all sorts of havoc trying to get to the stupid stuff in the in the box and like I definitely need to get all this stuff moved somewhere not in front of the boxes I just haven't figured that part out yet either maybe I'll extend this area of the platform out a little bit and make a little bedroom over here <laughs> but uh 
I, I, I definitely want to get some walls put up, but uh, I, I made this too close to the storage. And I made this a little too close to the storage. Although, that's going to get moved anyway. So, I don't know. We'll figure that out in a little bit. Not a little bit tonight, a little bit later. Because tonight I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, credit screen say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Friday's Games Revisited is on hold while I get my life back together. I will finish Zelda and then probably go into the first Witcher game. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Uh, we'll figure it out when I get there. But uh, this Friday, I'm definitely going to do Coffee Craft, and then I'll probably try to get back on schedule after that. We'll see by the time I get to this Friday. Let's go say hello to Beast Lord, so stick around, because I'm going to hit the title screen, and then raid Beast Lord, and uh, we'll go from there. Have fun. Bye-bye.